Hey all, welcome to another hands-on in section two. This one's going to be covering uh, creating a group in Genesis Cloud. We're already at our, our admin portal or admin panel here. We're already logged in Genesis Cloud instance. Um, what you can do is look for groups in the search bar or if they are also under the directory in groups. We're gonna be creating the group here um, just so that we have a group to add to the call flow when we're going through and doing the other hands-ons hands-on um, objectives. So I do have one created already, but I'm going to go ahead and create another one just so that we have it. Just going to say, do the test here. You can make it an official group or a social group. This is going to be more an official group. Um, members only, owners only, public. We're going to just make leave it members only. Up pops the, the group, and you're able to then do some configuration items around that as this loads. Um, we're not going to make this group we're not going to give this group a DNS, um, but we will able do it to enable calls. I have created some uh, extensions in the background, which is out of the scope of this this uh, this test or this uh, course. But we will go through it in in a course that kind of goes through admin. So on this, you must specify a number and extension when you enable calls. You go ahead and hit edit, and you can just put the extension. Uh, for the owner, obviously added myself as the owner. So since I uh, I created the group, I'm going to go ahead and add myself as a member too, just so we have it. Going to add that. And now what you can do is the different call route types. We're going to leave it at broadcast, but there are a few broadcast. Um, is it rings all of them? I think up to 15 users at once. Sequential is one right after another. I think rotary is about the same. Um, rotating calls every 12 seconds for 10 rotations. We can send it to voicemail if needed. We can do an overflow to a contact. Um, we're just going to leave all the default ones here like that. Uh, another one, just a real quick for groups. You can also put people in groups and make them assign them to roles. Uh, you can see how that works. Um, obviously, when you assign any users you've created newly, have, can assign this to the group and then it'll automatically assign the roles to it. Uh, that's out of the plethora of this course as well, but we will be able to follow through with that later. So I'm going to go ahead and give it that extension again and save it. Now it'll, we'll be able to add this to our uh, call flow and be able to get calls to it. Uh, really, what we're looking for here is just to make sure that you're comfortable creating groups, You just that you know the settings around this group. That way you're able to create one and then tie it into a call flow. Outside of that, that's it. Feel free to keep testing as you know as you learn more and more about the groups and you know editing and whatnot, uh, and we'll see you on the next hands-on.